All right. So the universal language of the mind. This is the language that our dreams are in. Our dreams communicate in a language. That's pretty much what this entire course is about, is understanding this language, becoming bilingual or trilingual for some um, or even more. But it literally is learning a language. It's a language that our minds speak in, and it is universal. So it's not like, you know, some people speak English, some people speak Spanish, some people speak Swahili, some people speak Egyptian. Everyone's mind speaks in this language of images. You know, like, like I always, I always go, this is my go to every time. You know, think of a balloon. You're going to think of an image. You know, think of a draft. You're going to see an image of it in your mind. You know, think of, think of the word clarity. You're going to see an image of the word in your mind. So we think in images. So our mind communicates in images. So understanding the language of those images is key to understanding your dreams. So, um, and then not only your dreams, but how your mind works, you know, your, your thoughts create your reality. So, you know, <laughs> understanding this language will help you to get better at creating your reality in the ways that you want to versus just unconsciously doing it. So um, our mind communicates in images. I already went over that. Maybe I should have pulled it up. <laughs> so our thoughts are images. And so um, one thing that you'll want to do is with your dream journal um hopefully everybody already has a notebook you know you can i i, I love to go to um like barnes and noble or someplace that has like an extensive amount of uh notebooks and like choose one um me i spend like you know 20 30 dollars on my dream journals just because it's for me it's a way of like showing telling my subconscious mind showing my subconscious mind my soul how valuable I think it is. You know, I can't find a, an expensive enough book to put my dreams down in. Um, so anyways, uh, you know, but you don't, I'm saying all that to say, you don't have to do that. You can go get 99 cent notebook, but make sure it's something that's dedicated specifically just to your dreams. One, so that you won't, don't take it away from your bed and it goes anywhere, but also two, so you, you tell your subconscious mind, hey, this is important to me, you know? Um, so it'll, it, it'll strengthen that relationship. In your conscious subconscious minds it'll sh which will strengthen your own intuitive abilities as well as your dream experiences so write down um your dreams every night but also in with your dream journal as you're writing things in the front in the very back you'll want to write down all of the symbols one that we go over today um so if you have it available go go ahead and grab it um and then that way you can and then all the symbols that come up in your dreams that way you can start your own glossary you know there's a video glossary um a lot of symbols that are even even on video yet on the website uh, awakenwithin.us uh, that you can find on there. Uh, but but you don't want to be reliant on any other source as you're learning this language for yourself. Um, I mean, use it for reference, but you don't want to rely on it. You really, you really want to create your own glossary in your own dream journals. Um, it's 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 powerful and and a very effective for uh, increasing how fast you pick up on this language.